Happy World Space Week. Welcome to the official launch of World Space Week 2020. It is incredibly heartwarming to see how many events are happening this year, considering the challenges we are all facing. Our World Space Week 2020 team, Satellites Improve Life, has been proven to be even more relevant than we all anticipated. Satellites can be used in a number of ways, from telemedicine to weather predictions and, of course, communications. It is satellite technology what allows us to remain connected and celebrate World Space Week together. We've been talking to many of you, finding ways to celebrate this amazing week while being mindful of the situation and maintain physical distance. Given an already large number of events in our global calendar that are predominantly virtual, I can only thank you, each and every one of you, for thinking of those close to you and move events online. I am confident that we will be able to gather in person soon, but until then, it gives me strength and confidence that no matter what, I am part of something so big, something where people come together, no matter their age, gender, or where they're from. Joining me in welcoming you today are Mr. Dennis Stone, the president of World Space Week Association, Mr. Steve Collar, honorary chair of World Space Week 2020, Ms. Simonetta Di Pipo, the director of the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs, and Mr. Peter Martinez, executive director of the Secure World Foundation. I want to thank them for taking the time to talk to us today. They have been instrumental in the success of World Space Week in 2020, but also in the past 20 years. We are incredibly grateful for their support and are honored that, are working, that we are working together with them on making World Space Week such an amazing success. I'm Dennis Stone, volunteer president of World Space Week Association. I want to welcome everyone to the celebration of World Space Week 2020, when the theme is Satellites Improve Life. Satellites are undergoing a revolution in, the, in their size and their technology, their accessibility to people all over the world, and the applications that they give to everyone. Not just locating you as you drive around the town, but in uh, disaster management and teleeducation, telemedicine, and this new revolution of low Earth orbit satellites that can relay the internet and other communications to places around the world that are underserved today. World Space Week 2020 is October 4th through 10th. Uh, last year, it was celebrated with over 8,000 events in 96 countries. This year, it's gonna be a little more safe because of the virus. There's gonna be a lot more virtual events, webinars, videos, many ways to safely learn about satellites and the way they're changing the world um, and a chance to inspire young people. It could be as simple as going into the backyard after sunset, looking up at the sky and looking for satellites, slowly moving stars, if you will. Look for the International Space Station, the biggest satellite of them all. There are many ways everyone can safely and effectively celebrate the incredible ways in which satellites are changing life on Earth. I welcome you to World Space Week. Please celebrate and uh, show your support for space this week. Thank you very much. Welcome to World Space Week. My name is Steve Collar and I was super excited to have asked to be the honorary chair of World Space Week uh, this year. And, and this year our theme is that satellites improve lives and couldn't be more passionate about that as an idea. At SES we talk about our purpose being doing the extraordinary in space in order to deliver exceptional experiences everywhere on Earth. And those three ideas to me are super important. The extraordinary in space speaks about how hard it is for us to do what we do as an industry. Delivering amazing experiences meaning we're touching lives in a way that few other industries can do. And everywhere on Earth speaks to the reach, the, the superpower that we have as an industry is our reach, our ability really to, to, to cover the planet. And at a time of COVID, where we're all struggling with this global pandemic, it's even more important that we keep doing these extraordinary things together. Our ability to 
broadcast content, educational content about COVID, about the pandemic, about how to protect yourselves, the connectivity that we're able to deliver as an industry, that we can connect people, keeping kids educated uh, and keeping people safe. And that's the, the, the innovation that's going on in our industry right now is it's, it's exceptional. It's at the highest level that it's been of the 30 years that I've spent in this industry. So keep doing the extraordinary in space, keep doing what you're doing and have a fantastic World Space Week. What a great topic we have for the World Space Week this year. I want to commend the World Space Week Association for choosing it. This topic will allow to draw our attention to the great contribution satellites can provide to human lives and sustainable development worldwide. We live in a time when we are being tested by increasingly complex and global challenges, from climate change to the current pandemic. Such challenges can only be counteracted through international cooperation and using innovative tools. Space is the ultimate frontier to equip humanity with unique instruments to face these challenges and promote sustainable development and better lives for all of us. Space contributes to all the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals that set an ambitious agenda for humanity to address challenges on multiple fronts between now and 2030. UNOSA research indicates that out of the 169 targets underpinning the SDGs, almost 40% strongly benefit from using space-based data and applications, either helping monitor the status of achievement of a given SDG or actively contributing to its fulfillment. If one was to include the benefits of satellite telecommunications, this percentage would be much higher. Satellites in particular are unique allies that allow us to make better informed decisions by providing us with images and data that would not otherwise be accessible, satellite technologies offer governments and organizations superior information to shape policy making. Just to mention a few examples of their uses, satellites help us in emergency responses in case of disasters, support the planning of humanitarian aid, help us find suitable locations for sustainable energy production, enable access to services such as healthcare advice and education even in remote locations and help us improve sustainable agriculture and water management and identify the most efficient transport routes. UN also works to ensure that all countries and their people, independently of their socio-economic conditions or location, can take advantage of these benefits. We do this by reducing barriers for developing countries in particular to access space by promoting international cooperation and cross-sector partnerships to share skills and know-how, and by offering training, expertise and advice to governments, organizations and individuals to size the benefits of space applications. I wish to provide one particular striking example of our work in this context. Our Kimokyo program in collaboration with the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, allows institutions from all over the world to apply for the opportunity to launch and deploy a one-unit CubeSat from the Japanese module on the International Space Station, free of charge. Thus, KiboCube lowers the threshold for countries to enter space activities and contributes to national capacity development in spacecraft engineering, design and development inspiring new generations of citizens. The KiboCube program already made it possible for Kenya and Guatemala to deploy their first ever satellites in space. The Kenyan satellite that had the objective of testing technology in space recently completed its journey, having collected a much higher amount of images than was originally expected. The Guatemalan satellite, designed to test a multi-spectral sensor prototype, is currently in orbit. Its deployment was followed with pride all over the country and allowed many young people to believe that their ambitious dreams of working in the space field and contribute to a better future can become a reality. This is one of several opportunities we offer 
to develop skills in satellite technology and access space. I invite interest parties all over the world to check them out under our Access to Space Forward initiative. We wish everyone a productive and inspiring World Space Week. I'm confident this year's topic will promote impactful exchanges on how space activities support development. We, collectively, are here to be the main players towards the future we want. And the time to act is now. Greetings to the World Space Week team as we begin another celebration of World Space Week, which has become such a significant event in the annual space calendar. For more than 20 years, World Space Week has been bringing space down to Earth for people all around the world. This year's theme, Satellites Improve Life, encourages students and the public to learn about satellites and the many ways in which they improve our daily lives here on Earth. There's not a single aspect of modern life that is not touched by satellites in some way or other. Yet many people are unaware of this. We can use World Space Week this year to share the excitement and the benefits of space with folks who might not normally think that there is a connection between satellites and public health, for example, or satellites and human and environmental security. As always, World Space Week depends on national coordinators and thousands of dedicated volunteers around the world to organize events. This year, because of COVID, we may not be able to organize the large in-person events for which World Space Week is famous. But luckily, we can organize virtual events, and there are many, many virtual events being organized this year. The really great thing about these virtual events is that you can attend virtual events in regions other than your own, which is something that has not really been possible with World Space Week in the past. Also, we can take advantage of the fact that satellites are readily visible to the naked eye, something that still amazes lots of people once this basic fact is pointed out to them. I wish all World Space Week coordinators all the best for another amazing annual celebration of all the ways that space activities continue to benefit us here on Earth. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining and celebrating World Space Week with us. I'm excited to see and follow your events. Please don't forget to register your activities and let us know how you participated in the largest celebration of space on Earth under the team Satellites Improve Life. Happy World Space Week.